were you surprised? Were you surprised how hard it was to uh, to take him down and to hold him down? No, I wasn't surprised. Uh, uh, I, I thought that it was going to be hard, um, but when I was in those exchanges, uh, I felt like I really want to get back there and uh, and get and, and get the takedown. And uh, I think that was. Uh, Probably a little bit for uh, too obvious for him, so that's why he, he read it very well in the second round there and timed that up to uppercut that led to the to the finish. Uh, you had a plan for who you wanted to fight if you won this fight. Do you have any idea as of right now where you, where you go from here? I have no idea. Um, I feel like uh, yeah, I want to get one more fight in before the the year is over. And uh, yeah, to to uh, to get back uh, on a win streak again. Uh, that's my main goal, and uh, uh, I'm pretty much willing to to take any fight. First for us in the UFC, you made some serious changes. You got a mental coach, uh, did some other things. Are you planning on doing the same this time around? Um, I'll definitely learn from this fight and uh, make sure that I don't do the same mistakes again. And uh, uh, what the process is going to be is something that I have to consi consider. But uh, I'm always trying to improve after every fight, so I'm sure I will do, uh, do, do something to get better. Yes, Jack here in the back. This whole event was, you were sort of carrying it on your shoulders, being so like the face of Nordic MMA. Do you feel that maybe some of that pressure might have, might have gotten to you in some way? Uh, I don't feel like that uh, affected the, the, the outcome of the fight uh, at all, actually, because, uh, um, yeah, I really felt great this fight week, and uh, especially without the jet lag, I felt energized, my body felt fine, so, um, yeah, uh, I, I can't blame anything on that, so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why I didn't perform tonight, but uh, I'll try to prepare even better in the future, so, so I can, can perform uh, better. Fight started off intense, in fact, even before it was supposed to start. Was that just you being wild up? Was it perhaps not hearing because of all the, the noise in the arena, or what, what was that about? Was it the time? Uh, time wasn't on? Yeah. The daughter went to the team and seen it. So no, no, no. That was because of low blow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hit him like. Um, I don't know if I hit him in the ground, but it was very, very close. I think that he checked if he was alright. Yeah. And you always had very high hopes for this belt. Uh, didn't go your way, but it seems like you've come back stronger after every loss so far. Do you, you know, just off the top of your head? Do you think of any adjustments that you think you might want to make for a future place? I think that uh, it has a lot to do with like the, the, the mindset uh, in there because uh, I felt like I, I, I loved uh, a little bit in my head and uh, I was thinking so much uh, on the takedown so I, I wasn't reactive enough and uh, I wasn't sharp enough in the stand-up because I had, had a takedown all the, time, all the time in my head. So uh, I need a, 
I think I just need to uh, adjust in my approach in there. And obviously, it's going to be another situation for the next opponent, or whoever that might be. So uh, it, it's yeah, it's hard to hard to think because um, I really I really do uh, think I I prepare pretty well, but. Uh, yeah, it's so much in, in your head when you get in there to to have the right mind the mindset when you uh, when you fight. Yeah, and last one for me. Uh, you touched on a little bit before, uh, but your next opponent, whoever that might be, you say you want to fight again sometime this year. If you get your pick, who would it be? Yeah, if I get my pick, yeah. um, I'll probably fight the winner between there and uh, Kevin Gastelum, but. You know, I'm coming from Augusta now, so I think they will give the winner to me, but uh, yeah, yeah. You always want to aim high, uh, the bigger the fight, the happier I get, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here if they will give me a big fight, uh, I'll take it. Alright, thank you. Thanks, Nesmi. Thanks, Hello, Jack. Happy to have you with uh, us here. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'm pretty sure you won that first round on the scorecards. Uh, can you tell us uh, what did your corner say to you after this first round? And if the plan for the fight was similar to what you had done in the first round, or uh, maybe it was uh, something different in the further rounds? Yeah, uh, I can't recall exactly what they said, but I know. Uh, that they remind me on, on the game plan, which was basically to keep more movement than I did in the fight because I was a little bit too much in front of him. So uh, I was supposed to move a little bit more and I was supposed to have better uh, set setups for, for my takedowns. Uh, so don't just shoot naked, but set them up. And I think that was one of the tips that I got from the corner. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, looking back, uh, I would have liked to, to fight a little bit more uh, different. And uh, I could have probably fought a little bit more more safe and and uh, fought on the outside and, and still be able to uh, to get the score on my side. Uh, you are a very busy fighter since joining the UFC. You already mentioned about uh, a win to come back this year the possibility will come off. You did already three fights in 2019. Do you think your body is ready for another one? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I still believe that uh, I'm in my prime right now and uh, my body can, can handle that. And uh, you know, I'm in this sport uh, to fight and to grow. And uh, I don't want to be uh, sitting on the side and watch uh, the other guys uh, do the job. I want to be in there myself. Uh, losing on the event uh, is a bitter pill to swallow, but uh, another uh, Scandinavian fighters succeeded uh, tonight's night. Did you watch any of those fights of Nicholas Dalby or Marco Mazzi? Um, I was warming up, so it was just uh, in the background, but I noticed that uh, both of them won. And uh, big congratulations to them. I'm super happy for, for those guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. There's a guy in the lightweight division claiming that he is the best fisherman in the UFC. What do you guys say about that? Uh, well, I didn't win tonight, but I'm sure I will win a fish off against that guy. Greg, we'll get that. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, guys.